Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel guys. I'm Shahana and in this series of videos we are discussing about DNA binding motifs. Previously we discussed about helix loop, helix motif, helix turn, helix motif and homeo domain. Now in this video let's talk about leaves and zipper motif. So it is a very interesting motif which is found in many eukaryotic and few bacterial proteins. It has two separate domains which mediates both dimerization and DNA binding. The leucine zipper motif is named because, because of the way the two alpha helices one from each monomer are joined together to form a short coiled coil. And this type of motif was first found in enhancer binding proteins. For example, CFOS, CJUN are leucine, has leucine zipper motif for a, uh, which is basically a P1 transcription factor. Leucine zipper motif is also known as leucine scissors. So, what are the features of dimerization domain? As you can see at the C terminal, each monomer has alpha helix. These alpha helix are amphipathic in nature. Amphipathic alpha helix are nothing but alpha helices containing both hydrophilic and hydrophobic amino acid. Hydrophilic means water loving and hydrophobic means water heating. So in the hydrophobic side of the amphipathic alpha helix has leucine residue at every 7th position which is represent as red dot in this diagram. They line up side by side in the alpha helix of each monomer, thus together they form a coiled coil. Now a question might pop up in your head, why zipper? Why they name this motif as zipper? So initially researchers thought leucine residue interdigitated, that is they remain interlocked like the fingers in a collapsed hand, hence they named it as zipper, leucine zipper. But now we know that these leucine zippers or these leucine residues line up side by side, right? Features of DNA binding domain. Now let's discuss about it roughly. Okay, so as you can see, they are present at the end terminal and it has a high concentration of basic amino acid such as uh, lysine and arginine. And as lysine and arginine are positively charged, so they can easily interact with the negatively charged phosphate of the phosphate group of the DNA. And so they directly interacts in the major group this interaction is highly sequence specific and most of the leucine zipper protein show high binding affinity for the uh, consensus sequence such as adenine cytosine guanine thymine sequence okay so we'll end it here today thank you for watching see you soon guys bye bye